हेलो बच्चो हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड ओके नाउ वी आर कंटिन्यू अवर वॉट आर होम टॉपिक दैट इज मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स ओके सो वी कवर्ड रिएक्शन विद एयर रिएक्शन विद वॉटर नाउ इट्स टाइम टू कवर अवर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज से रिएक्शन ऑफ मेटल विथ डायलिट एसिड ओके रिएक्शन ऑफ मेटल्स विथ विथ डायलिट एसिड्स सो सी रिएक्शन ऑफ मेटल्स विथ डायलिट डायलिट एसिड्स इन दैट जनरली वॉट फील अपन से मेटल प्लस ओके योर मेटल प्लस डायल्यूट मिनरल एसिड मेटल प्लस डायल्यूट मिनरल एसिड Mineral acid. So what they are giving us? They are giving us metal salt plus what? Yes, hydrogen gas. Okay. So it is a very much important here. Metal salt plus what? Hydrogen gas. So this thing you keep in mind here. Whatever our this reaction, metal plus dilute acid. Dilute mineral acid that gives out metal salt plus hydrogen gas. Okay, and as you know, hydro gas is what uh, they are. Uh, how we can show? We can show with the up arrow like this. Okay, now we will see uh, examples on that. So as you know, uh, whatever in our reactivity series. Okay, so in that uh, more reactive. Okay. so what are your more reactive metals readily lose hydrogen as compared to less reactive metals okay and if you are considering our activity series okay so whatever that metal plays above hydrogen in the activity series they can displace hydrogen gas easily or readily as compared to below that hydrogen okay so it is very much important here in that okay so see here our what are these examples suppose if you are taking a concentrated acid and uh, some weak acids okay so concentrated acid and weak acid or we can say strong acid and weak acid so what is the difference between these so first uh, we will concentrate on that our strong acid means what it completely ionizes in water what is our strong acid it completely ionizes in water and whatever our weak acid is what is on ionized form in water on ionized form okay so very much important here so we will see here as you know your hcl in h2o so both these are what uh, strong acids uh, but your uh, what uh, phosphoric acid is h3po4 is what your weak acid so now we will see some examples here okay so see here <coughs> al okay so al plus hcl so what they are giving us yes it gives what here in metal okay and as you know metal is what always electro positive and here what non metal negative so wherever necessary uh, you can uh, what you can break easily here understood so as you know your metal is always electro positive so what they are giving us yes alcl3 stable binary compound Plus what? Yes, hydrogen gas. Okay, so for balancing the reaction, here take three. Okay, so our reaction is balanced. See, three C here, here also three C here, but C uh, here like that we have to do for balancing. So see, yes, our reaction is balanced or not? Two L, two L, six C L, six C L, and hydrogen six, hydrogen six. So as you know, our gas is it will evolve. Understood. So these are what means here. Whatever your hydrogen gas is evolved rapidly. Hydrogen gas is evolved here what rapidly. Understood. Hydrogen gas evolved here rapidly. But why beta like this? Because these are what here strong acid, and this strong acid is what. it will readily evolve hydrogen okay understood so now we will see here next our reaction so that next uh, we will see al 
AL plus phosphoric acid. So phosphoric acid is what here? H3PO4. Okay. Phosphoric acid is what here? H3PO4. And beta this what? Here this weak acid. This what here? Weak acid. Okay. So uh, whatever rate of displacement. Okay. So rate of displacement of hydrogen gas from your acid. It depends on electropositive character also. So you for this thing also you keep in mind. Okay, whatever rate of displacement of hydrogen from acid depends on what electropositive characters of that metal. Okay, so see here Al plus is three pure four. So will, obviously what you will get here wherever necessary. I told already you have to do breaking. So as like this H plus pure four three minus. Here, as you know, metal is out already electropositive. So here, what you will get? Yes, you will get here AlPO4. Why like this? This formula because as you know, Al is plus three, aluminum is plus three, and PO4 is what minus three. So beta here plus three and is minus three. They will cancel out each other. And you are getting what simply LPO4 plus H2. Okay, so for uh, balancing the reaction, okay, so for uh, balancing the reaction, uh, you have to uh, write some uh, whole number, okay, or you can say uh, some stoichiometric coefficient. Stoichiometric coefficient is also called as what? Whatever number for balancing. Okay, <clears throat> so see here 3H. So here also 3H. Now we will see balancing the reaction. Okay, so for balancing, uh, we have to do one thing. Here two, yes. Here also two, yes. Our reaction is balanced or not? Okay, see, we will cross check beta here. Two L here also two L. Two three the six hydrogen here also six hydrogen. Two PO four here also two PO four. Understood? So our reaction is balanced. But here one thing is that, <clears throat> okay, that one thing is what your hydrogen gas is evolved less readily, okay. Understood means uh, not rapidly; it will uh, evolve. We can say slowly because your acid is what beta here weak acid. Understood. So we will see here some examples. Okay, some examples uh, we will discuss. So uh, with uh, sodium metal, then your magnesium metal, zinc metal, how your hydrogen gas is evolved. Okay. See so first example. As you know, when uh, Na plus HCl. So, but uh, what? Uh, okay. What you will get? Obviously, what you will get NaCl plus H2 gas. Okay. So for balancing here, you have to take uh, how much two? So here also two. Yes, see your reaction is balanced or not? Two Na, two Na, two hydrogen. Yes, two hydrogen, two Cl, two Cl. Our reaction is balanced. Okay, your sodium plus Cl, whatever your hydrogen gas, uh, is evolved vigorously. Your hydrogen gas is evolved vigorously. Vigorously. Okay. Suppose we are thinking about uh, magnesium. Okay. Then Mg plus HCl. What they are giving us? MgCl2. Yes, MgCl2. Stable binary compound. With you have to balance with the cross or valency also. Whatever valency means Mg2 plus Cl minus. That also we have to think about. Okay. Now here H2 gas will be what? But here what? Less vigorously. Less vigorously. Understood. Okay, and uh, as you know, our reactivity series also K B Nath Kamali Alu Zara. Okay, uh, so you are remembering all that uh, reactivity series. Okay, but okay, very good. Now see, for balancing this, yes, here also you have to take two. Here also two. Okay, so beta we will uh, say one mg one mg two Cl yes here also two Cl two hydrogen means no need to here take. No need of two here. Okay, so our reaction is balanced. Suppose if you are thinking about uh, reaction of zinc with uh, HCl. Okay, so see here uh, reaction of zinc with HCl. 
थर्ड ऑफ विल से जिंग प्लस एच सी एल यस वॉट यू विल गेट जेड एन सी एल टू प्लस एच टू वेरी वेरी लेस विगरसली और वी कैन से वॉट लेस वायलेंटली इट विल योर हाइड्रोजन गैस इज इवॉल्व ओके सो सी एल वन जेड एन वन जेड एन टू सी एल ये सी एल ऑल्सो वॉट टू ओके देन टू हाइड्रोजन सर देन सो बेटा हियर वॉट अवर रिएक्शन इज Balance. Okay. So, but if you are thinking about the next one, okay. So that next one also we will say here, fourth one. So that fourth one reaction. Okay. So see very uh, iron plus HCl. Okay. So that iron plus HCl that gives what beta? Yes, HCl two plus H two gas. Okay, hydrogen gas. Or we can show of uh, to make uh, your reaction more informative okay we can write uh, what our hydrogen gas is their physical state or we can say what state symbols okay so for balancing take here to okay 1 fe 1 fe 2 cl 2 cl 2 hydrogen is okay now these are what some uh, reactions okay we we saw now here whatever our fifth reaction is very much important i hope you understood all these reactions okay now what are our next reaction so reaction of copper with hcl so say reaction fifth our reaction reaction of copper with hcl so here beta what will happen on copper if you put hcl here no reaction will occur what beta here no reaction will occur yes why it is because because your copper is less reactive Copper is less reactive. Okay, then hydrogen. Okay, con he agi au. Okay, like that we saw statement in our activity series. Understood. So these are a uh, reason. So it can't uh, displace hydrogen from this acid because your copper is what? Beta less reactive. Con he agi au. Panta ji, are you remembering this activity series? So. No reaction will occur. So after that, here, whatever your hydrogen gas, okay, okay, one of the most important here, hydrogen gas is not evolve in a when a metal reacts with, okay, hydrogen gas is not evolve when a metal reacts with whatever your nitric acid, okay, when your metal reacts with nitric acid. Your hydrogen gas is not evolved. Okay, your hydrogen gas is not evolved when metal say when metal reacts with nitric acid. Hydrogen hydrogen gas is not evolved. so why it is so because here your hydrogen what will happen beta this nitric acid so see this nitric acid is act as a what strong oxidizing agent why when metal reacts with nitric acid it what will not uh, what evolve any hydrogen gas because nitric acid is what strong oxidizing strong oxidizing agent Okay, so strong oxidizing agent means what? They are super oxidizing agent means like that. See, whatever hydrogen evolved from in this reaction, it will see so this oxygen from your nitric acid. It will your hydrogen gas is what? But that hydrogen gas it combines with from this oxygen means nitric acid. They are Evolving what? This nascent hydrogen. What? Beta nascent nascent oxygen. And this nascent oxygen is what? Their purpose is what? To oxidize. Then what will happen here? H two. Understood? So when your metal reacts with nitric acid, does not evolve H two gas because what will happen? Whatever hydrogen gas is produced, it will oxidize into your water. 
it will oxidize into your water so this is very much important reason here okay so uh, you keep in mind this region okay it will oxidize into this is do and uh, it will reduce also and after reducing uh, it gives so here after reducing after what beta here after uh, reducing it gives oxides of nitrogen oxides of nitrogen okay so that oxides of nitrogen is what so go your no2 okay simply no okay then n2o3 okay so like that oxides of nitrogen were formed so that depends on what whichever metal is there so beta this keep in mind this very much important thing okay now we will move towards okay but beta this okay nitric acid when uh, metal but uh, your magnesium and manganese it will react with uh, what it will react with your nitric acid your magnesium and manganese it will react with your nitric acid with evolution of what h2 gas so we will see here one example okay beta so see mg plus hno3 so here what yes here you will get mg yes here also we can break plus or minus so this always uh, as you know metal is electro positive they are taking this minus ion okay so what you will get here yes magnesium nitrate plus h2 gas so for balancing take you to gas 1 mg 1 mg 2 nitrogen yes here also 2 nitrogen 2 hydrogen also there 6 hydrogen yes is here also 6 oxygen 6 oxygen understood so very much here uh, all these concepts are important okay uh, now we will discuss here one of the important so whatever our uh, reaction with dilute mineral acids are over okay now we will move towards uh, next part okay i hope you understood all this content from over this uh, uh, topic now reaction of metals with some salt solution okay now we will discuss that see the uh, heading reactions of metals with salt solution with salt solutions of less salt solution of less reactive metals less reactive metals so here also means uh, what here beta your less reactive metal displays okay what is here reaction of metals with salt solution so say sorry here more reactant sorry more reactive metal displays less less reactive metal from its salt solution okay so here we can write so what we can write here see more reactive metal displays displays less reactive metal from its yes from its salt solution okay and uh, this type of reaction we can we also called as what and uh, this type of reaction is uh, also called as also called as yes displacement displacement reaction understood so this displacement reaction we we have to say in uh, our next topic also that uh, for homeopathy that is chemical reactions and equations okay now we will see here suppose uh, now we will see here is one representation okay so that uh, general reaction we have to see okay 
that general reaction is how it is C. M1, M1 is what beta here? More reactive, yes, more reactive metal. Plus, plus salt solution, plus salt solution of M2. Salt solution of M2. Okay, so beta it is salt solution of M2 means what here? Less reactive metal less reactive metal so what it will get it will get here m2 okay so m2 plus plus what you will get yes salt solution of m1 salt solution of m1 okay so understood this more reactive metal displays less reactive metal from its what salt solution so you will get uh, like this m2 plus salt solution of m1 okay where m1 and m2 that is important say where m1 and m2 these are what two different metals m1 and m2 these are what two two different yes two different metals okay so now we will uh, say some examples here some simple simple examples okay but on the base of reactivity series whatever this reaction we have to okay do whatever we have to consider here reaction on the base of what our reactivity series so well known as you know okay so reaction of uh, your iron with copper sulfate first first example reaction of iron solid iron solid with copper sulfate aqueous so this beta we can uh, perform this activity in chemistry lab also suppose you take uh, iron nail and iron nail and you in another beaker you have to prepare solution of copper sulfate aqueous okay so if you uh, put that uh, whatever your iron in so after some time it will what will happen yes that color of that copper sulfate is fades solution becomes what turn light green color okay so see here that reaction iron solid plus copper sulfate aqueous as you know it is what blue in color so what uh, here you will get yes here you will get FeSO4 FeSO4 plus what beta copper okay understood so like that here simple reaction but here beta color is what this solution color become fades okay and here you will get what green color understood so we will see another example also uh, second example reactions reactions of magnesium okay reaction of magnesium with uh, copper sulfate solution okay so see here your magnesium solid plus your CuSO4 aqueous so as you know the color of this yes color is what blue so it will you will get what yes mgso4 but that mgso4 color is what colorless aqueous plus here what copper so here beta colorless understood so these are simple reaction whenever more reactive metal displays it uh, displays less reactive metal from its salt solution okay so we will uh, see some more examples on this understood this all now we will see reaction of silver silver third third example reaction of silver with a copper sulfate See in that reaction of silver with uh, copper sulfate 
okay so as you know our ag solid plus beta copper sulfate aqueous so here it can displace more reactive metal so beta basically whatever this this is what your more reactive so it can't displace okay uh, according to our reactivity series so here what will happen no reaction keep in mind this okay so first say our uh, activity series also in that also uh, we can easily visualize that whichever upper side is what more reactive so here it can't uh, displace your copper okay because as you know your silver is what less reactive silver is what your less reactive than copper okay we will see some more examples okay so see more examples also we can uh, write directly zn plus cuso4 it can displace yes here it can displace copper is uh, copper is displaced what will form here blue then here what znso4 which color yes colorless which color colorless plus what here co so beta here your copper is displaced easily so we will see here some another example also okay suppose if you took here fifth one zn plus iron sulfate yes okay where iron can displace yes iron is displaced so what you will get zdnso4 yes zdnso4 it is what your green color your what colorless plus what iron solid here you will get okay so these are simple simple reaction okay so we will see in some example your uh, silver also displays or no okay next our reaction okay suppose if you uh, copper copper plus what ag2so4 so here it can displace yes here uh, whatever here this silver is can displace because copper is what here more reactive so what you will get yes here cuso4 okay then what you will get ag to ag here you will get but here balance the reaction is balanced this what we are here silver silver sulfate as you know according to our crossover valency this two of what is sulfate ion and uh, this what you will get here blue in color here you will get so our reaction also balance suppose if you took here uh, iron also okay so suppose iron if you took here iron plus ag2so4 iron also more reactive so it can displace your ag ag is your less reactive so feso4 plus what you will get to ag okay so for balancing yes our reaction is also balance okay now we will see some extra examples on this and uh, some exceptional case i mean in that no reaction will occur so that we will now discuss here so say suppose if you took copper iron and what here ag copper iron and ag when it reacts with okay when it reacts with znso4 so beta here reaction will occur or not your whatever uh, more reactive metal so as you know our uh, reactivity series so beta here simply okay your zinc is what more reactive okay so it will it can't displace okay so beta here simply what will happen no reaction and one more suppose if you done copper silver when it uh, reacts with when it reacts with fe so4 solution a 
aqueous aqueous okay here also what beta aqueous so what you will get here beta you will get here no reaction will occur what will happen no reaction will occur okay so see because beta here where iron is what iron yes iron is what here more reactive okay so you have to keep in mind all these reactions okay so uh, we discussed so many things here i hope you all understood all these things so we will continue our next lecture within a second thank you